In today's video, Edwin's G20 M340i gets a new style trunk lift. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. As many of you know, we have a number of standard trunk lifts for the G20, the F30, the E90, whatnot. So typically you'll find like M Performance, you'll find some kind of high kick, you'll find a CS style. But today we're excited to introduce two new trunk lifts for the G20. First up, we have our sports style. So what is really cool about this, as you can see from the back here, it doesn't necessarily sit on the top, it doesn't necessarily sit on the side, it actually rides on the corner right there. So I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so what's really cool is it elongates the trunk and it just sticks off the corner. It's very low profile and it looks super aggressive. I love this style. I think it just looks so clean, so classy, and definitely going down is one of my favorites. So just to give you a better sense of what it looks like, I'm just gonna hold it here and Zach's gonna get some B-roll for you. So definitely a great looking style, but today we are going to be installing the M4 style for the G20, which is going to fit the M340i and also the 330, so check this out. So what I really like about it is it has a lot of really aggressive lines. It's got the, the two points over here, and if you look underneath, it starts out on the trunk, and then it goes up a little bit. I think it just looks super aggressive. It's very fitting for a car with a pure 800 turbo, and it stays while doing B-roll. <laughs> All right, so let's get ready to install it. So if you've watched any installation video, you gotta start by cleaning it. We like to use 70% isopropyl alcohol because it is safer on your paint than using traditional 91, which is a little more commonly found at local stores. Clean that off and let it dry for a second. Now, because this has a top and a rear mount location, we use two pieces of tape. And what you wanna do is just peel this off here. Swing it up, and then you're gonna take this, and you're gonna peel it, and you're gonna swing it down. Okay, then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. When you're doing this, you wanna make sure that if you put the tape on, that there's no cuts or anything. So a lot of times we use like our microphones, we tape them to the inside of my shirt, so we use little little pieces of this and sometimes if I cut too far, I'll go to do a spoiler and there'll be a little cut and then you go to rip it off and it breaks part way and it's like, oh no. So just make sure you look out for that if you're taping microphones to your shirt. <laughs> and then we're going to just line it up. Make sure everything is where we want it to be. There. Oops. Okay. And I'm gonna just take the back off first. And the reason that we always do both sides of the tape is as you may have seen with that, what can happen is as you're pulling it, sometimes it'll get caught and it'll just stop. But if you do this, you kind of have a backup plan. Okay. okay, so now that that's there, I'm just going to apply some even pressure for about 30 seconds to a minute or so. Just keep moving along. The other thing is right now it's pretty warm in here. It's probably 70, nah, 
maybe 60, 65, we'll say. And um, so everything's going to adhere nice. If you're doing this outside and it's like 30 degrees, take a heat gun and just heat up your trunk before you do it because that way everything is going to properly adhere. If it's too cold, sometimes the tape doesn't want to stick as well. And you don't want this flying off at 100 miles an hour in Mexico. You don't want to lose your sombrero. <laughs> All right, let's wipe off my fingerprints and check it out. Okay, so at this point, everything is fully installed and it looks incredible. I really like this. I really like both of these. These are probably two of my favorite styles on this car. Um, I kind of like them all, but especially after seeing this one, it fits the car so much better than the performance style that was on it before. Um, and it just looks absolutely incredible. So if you're interested in any of the parts or tools we showed in today's video, be sure to see the links in the description. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.